Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you a review of another travel tripod that is competing for the crown with Peak Design's own carbon fiber travel tripod. This particular new offering comes from the company Hapi, and this is the W28 3-in-1 carbon fiber travel tripod. Now, it does very much like when I first reviewed the Peak Design travel tripod. There were some really unique features, some things that other companies had not done previously in the Peak Design product and I feel kind of the same way when I take a look at this new W28 as well and that there really is a lot of innovation that's going on here. First of all, let's just take a look at some of the basic specs in terms of the size, weight, payload, some of those basic things you need to know if you're going to want to bring along a lightweight travel tripod. So first of all, the weight of this is 1.35 kilograms or that's right at three pounds and so very nice and lightweight for such a substantial tripod to give you a uh, sense of, of context. It is 2.81 pounds for the peak design. So they are within just a, an ounce or so between each one with the peak design being ever so slightly lighter. Now the packed overall dimensions, what will fit into this included uh, pouch for everything to go into is that it will pack down to 45 centimeters. That's 17.7 inches. And again, for context, the peak design will go a little bit smaller at 15.4 inches. The maximum height, as you can see here, is virtually identical with the peak design. Uh, Hapi claims that it will go up to 150 centimeters, which is 59 inches. The uh, peak design says that it will go up to 60 inches. However, if I put them side by side, it looks pretty much identical to me. And so practically, um, you're going to get pretty much the same with both of those. Now, where the Hapi is going to win, however, is when it comes to the minimum height. Really, to unlock the best minimum height out of the peak design, you need to reverse the center column and shoot in an upside down position, whereas you have more options here with this new uh, travel tripod from Hapi. In that, first of all, in just the kind of the main tripod, you can get down as low as 22 centimeters or 8.6 inches. That already is besting the similar setup with the peak design, which is at 13.2 two inches in that same scenario. However, with the Hapi, you have the ability to detach what they call the sub tripod, which is what makes up the center tri center column, which is in itself a table tripod, and thus you're allowed to get down to an even lower position. So using that sub tripod, you can actually get down as low as 8.6 inches or 22 centimeters. And obviously with a great ball head on there, that gives you a lot of versatility for shooting macro type shots product shot. In many ways, it's like getting a second tripod in one, which is obviously extremely useful to have. Another place where the Hapi really comes in strong is because you have this unique kind of center column design, which gives you three points of reinforcement of strength rather than just one. As a byproduct, you get a much higher payload. Whereas the Peak Design is good for 20 pounds, this Hapi is good for 55 pounds of payload or 25 kilograms, meaning that, I mean, there's basically no camber combination you can't put on there and it can't support with plenty of stability. So obviously that is going to be very, very useful. And I will note that just the basic width here of this center column and the way that it's designed means that there's a lot of additional stability there compared to other designs that just have one single center column. Now there are some kind of standout features on this also as part of the clever design. The included ball head is a nice big sturdy ball head that um, just is very substantial. It's not some kind of you know minuscule travel feeling tripod. This feels like a full bore travel tripod and obviously it's designed to where it can support that heavy payload. And when it's locked down, there is plenty of strength there even if you're shooting in a vertical position and you have it rocked over to the side. Another really important distinction versus the Peak Design travel tripod. And what is, I think, the biggest criticism by a lot of people is that you don't have a full panning capability with the Peak Design, whereas with the Hapi, you have a fully designed uh, panning option here. And so it's very easy to rotate. And I will also note on that point that, that when the center column is fully retracted here, you have the full capabilities to start using the ball head to rotate it, to do anything that you need to do. Whereas with the Peak Design, just the particular way that it's designed and its unique ball head is that you can't do any of those things until you actually extend the center column a little bit. And it's only then that the ball head can begin to move around. So 
in this situation, you could actually get to operation a little bit faster. And of course, the ability to have the full panning capabilities is going to be very welcome. Another unique design is that incorporated right into the ball head is actually a clamp for a phone. And so, of course, a lot of people these days, maybe to get B-roll or just, you know, a quick running gun type footage that might use a phone, you have the ability to lock into that right there. I will note that their uh, design here, unlike some of the travel tripods I've used, it is fully uh, ARCA compatible and that I can even put on my Peak Design type plates. It does come with its own very similar design of a, a QR plate, quick release plate you can put on there. But it has a nice unique design here that allows you to very quickly put the camera combination on there, lock it into place. I noticed with one of my other travel tripods the other day, which has a standard kind of rotating crank down that takes a lot of turns and because it's tied under there, I didn't quite feel like I could always get it as tight as what I wanted. This is a quick kind of no-brainer process that once it's locked in there, everything is nice and secure. Much like Peak Design, the included case, one thing that I appreciate about it is that it does have a, a hidden pouch inside here that allows you to store the included tools in terms of Allen keys. Also, there's room in there for the quick release plate and everything fits in there. Even with the ball head, there's no nothing fancy you have to do to make it all fit inside. It all does fit nicely in there. Now, obviously carbon fiber being the material and much like the Peak Design, there are a system of locks that you know, will allow you to really quickly rotate that, rotate that into place. I will say that I very slightly prefer the design of the Peak Design locks in that they are just really confident. This, I just feel like just the nature of it, you really need to do a really kind of tight breaking over of the wrist to make sure that they're all secured and locked down. And while it, it works fine and it's actually getting better as I've used it for a little bit and everything starts to loosen up a little bit, uh, I will note that I just like Peak Designs just a little bit better. But like the Peak Design, you have the ability to just do kind of a one hand uh, release of all those and then to quickly go through and to lock them all back into place. You do have a similar kind of ratcheting type design that when you're in your lowest position, you can ratchet it up into the appropriate position. And the same is true also for the sub or tabletop tripod that is included. Now it's very clever the way that the design has happened with all of these travel tripods, but I will note with this one as well to where everything is just really, really compact. There's not a lot of thickness there. You also have the ability that hidden inside the rubberized feet at the bottom. We do have the spiked feet where you can make those emerge. If so desired, you can turn that around to where you have the spikes that are right there, just to give you a little more stability in certain situations. Now the package for storage is obviously nice and compact, making it easy to go into certain bags. It does have a shoulder strap, which I will note is removable. It uses Velcro to attach there at the various anchors. So easy to bring along, very lightweight. So what are you going to pay for this particular package? Right now, the retail price is 549 US dollars. So not cheap, though I will note that is running about $50 cheaper than what the Peak Design is. And obviously for that, you are getting a really nicely designed tripod that in, in essence is two tripods in one. Meaning that if you have situations where you might need a table tripod, you're eliminating the need to purchase one of those separately, which of course can be a significant additional expense. So for that, you are getting the tripod, you're getting the travel case, you're getting the ball head, you're getting the spike feet, and you're getting the various tools needed for adjustments along the way. If you are interested in this particular tripod and want more information, there is a link in the description down below where you can get more information. They launched via Kickstarter. They raised over a million dollars very quickly because the design really appealed to people and after having spent some time with it, I can see why. Moving ahead, this is a tripod that I'll probably get a lot of use out of. I'm Dustin Abbott and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great day and let the light in.